so we are on the way to Toronto for one okay rock right now we just got to Ohio from Indiana I am meeting my friends my husband's taking me so excited strawberry pie, we got sugar cookies shaped like a banana, and then little donuts. Five to choose from, guys. <laughs> Love the many flavors. <laughs> Boston cream, cookies and cream, double glaze, maple caramel, and sprinkle. Because so, to go nice. with her, I won't. It's funny, it's like, <laughs> it's like a small floor. People like, oh, we need to take a photo. Well, I mean, the packaging is different. That's true. Reese's. Yeah. I mean, look at you. The what are Reese's chippets? up in Japan. That's the real well, question. Now we are both vlogging. Wow, look at the moon. I was going to say, we can go. It's kale. Kale? No, this chew on it. It's oh, kale. Right. kale. Chew, chew. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks like kale. It 
I didn't think it would take this long.
guys, you guys are worrying for nothing. We're here. We're here. We're here. Finally.
bigger than last time. This venue is crazy. Thank you for being here. Woo! I can see, I can see everywhere, even like second floor. People like that. Where are you second floor? Like second floor or something? It's got a lot of big room over there. It's great. It's great being from here. Um, yeah, this tour is kind of like a little, um, not like, uh, it's main tour is like just between them um, into the next album between the like you know the luxury disease so we're gonna play like a lot of like songs it's not the only for play like luxury disease um, also like old songs
今日は本当にありがとうございましたワンクロックでしたありがとうクロートにお住まいの皆さんカナダにお住まいの皆さんまた必ず戻ってきますその時はまたこうやって一緒に素晴らしい景色と素晴らしい環境と素晴らしい音楽と素晴らしい情熱を持ってこのステージの上と皆さんたちとね共有して素晴らしい世界を作りたいと思いますありがとうございました Hey guys, so I just wanted to do kind of a quick vlog today. I have no makeup, nothing, but I was like in edit mode. It's already been like a week and a half since concert, and I'm like editing our little travel vlog and concert day vlog. And I'm like, you know, you really need to kind of wrap this up and tie it in.、Um, you're still gonna see my travel stuff next, the finishing of the trip. However, let's talk about the concert for a minute. I think most of the footage and captions spoke for itself. We already kind of covered that, you know, I came from Indiana all the way to Toronto.、Uh, my friends came more south. We basically met halfway. I traveled west and they traveled north. And then we went to Toronto together by car. <sighs> what a day, what a trip. We had a great time, but. We really didn't do that much on travel day, but on concert day, we got up really early. We meant to arrive at the venue more closer to 7 o'clock latest, 6 37. However, we were doing what we could to get ready and get out that door, and we were running late. We still had to stop at Tim Hortons. By the way, so recommend. My favorite part of Canada is Tim Hortons. Absolutely got the. Large double double as recommended by Vicky Blanca. <laughs> And、um, that's just a large regular coffee, two creams, two sugar, but it's full bodied and delicious.、Uh, big old cream cheese, so good, just the classic, really good. And、um, I got also this marble donut that had 
white chocolate and chocolate shavings on it and it was the best thing ever i really want to find that again we hit tim hortons a few times since then and we did not find that donut it was delicious okay so that we meant to get to the venue closer to 6 30 or 7 we ended up arriving because of like traffic and the distance of our airbnb closer to 8 30 p 8 30 a.m so not as early as we wanted still fairly early because our group was like numbers 14 through 17. Uh, we brought our own markers to do like sort of like the number system because that way you can go to the toilet get food and still honor each other's place in line because you've been waiting all day we are camping in the camping chairs great fun experience personally i wouldn't have it any other way i know some people don't like going early to concerts but not only do you get a better spot in the venue you also make so many friendships along the way so for me that's my favorite part because how often do you get to socialize with people who like the same music as you specifically one okay rock japanese music in general in america not so simple not so easy so i really enjoyed that i came home with new friends and i intend to keep these friends lifelong so i'm so happy <laughs> um, people were also traveling to Canada just to see the band and of course there were some Canadian residents and some who lived even further than us on the west side of Canada so definitely this band is loved people have traveled near and far just to see them uh, there were some people who came from Japan all the way to Toronto just to see the band too so that was great Loved meeting everyone. I met someone who had taco shoes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I did put a picture or a video of that in my vlog. Um, I brought two sushi keychains. So the little mini schnauzer that Taka has uh, named Sushi. I brought two keychains. One uh, for me to keep and one to give to Taka. I did not get to hand it to Taka. I did, however, get to hand it to Ryota. I'm so happy about that. I don't know if he thinks it's Betty and that it's for him or if he knows it was for Taka, if he heard me yelling for Taka. I don't care. I'm happy either way. I love both. I did meet both of them back on the Luxury Disease Tour. They're both wonderful. They both took time with me to take a photo, to give me signatures. They're great. So I didn't realize until later that also after giving him sushi that he did make it into the photo and he did pick it up a little and wave it around Ryota did and that was so sweet thank you so much that literally made my day uh, i had seen in other footage after so that was a great little surprise for me like i didn't know if he made it into the picture or not very happy <laughs> uh he also walked off stage carrying him i love that moment um there was another moment that I really loved about the concert, which, uh, by the way, I didn't say we actually did get barrier. So we got barricade first in line, uh, very close to the center at the end of the little runway. So not quite center. I was a little more towards the Ryota side, but still very center. Uh, great views for the whole show. Uh, Taka, when he comes in for the beginning, we're like so close. We did not make it to holding his hand. Uh, someone else got lucky, I guess. And uh, let's see, My fa one of the favorite moments though for me was when we all sung Wherever You Are Together because Wherever You Are was the song that made me a fan and I used to sing that to my uh, newborn son. Uh, so that was our song, very special for me and my uh, last born child. I never got to hear it live before so this was the best part for me. Um, and also during that song, I think I was very very emotional and i think that taka could definitely see that um there was just definitely this little funny interaction where i was like really emotional and he kind of like smiled and laughed i don't know if that was to me personally but it did feel like it at the moment and everyone kind of like giggled and grabbed me at that moment so i don't know i don't know i like to think that that was a moment between us maybe i'm being delusional <laughs> so was whatever i'm gonna cherish that moment anyway and remember it the way i remember it <laughs> uh the next highlight for me was the take what you want i never in my wildest dreams imagined to hear that like pin drop silence moment we did get some kind of 
cheering and laughter during that, unfortunately. Uh, me and my friend Angelina, we were like so quiet and ready to hear and enjoy, but you know, everyone around kind of cheered a little bit during that silence. But we got that moment where then he came with the strong emotional notes and that was just wonderful. Never thought I could hear that in person, never in my wildest dreams. I've watched that so many times on YouTube. So to see it with my own eyes was amazing, hearing it with my own ears. He is phenomenal. Uh, his voice is just extraordinary. I've never heard his voice ever waver or mess up, ever. Like, perfection always, the band always, they never miss a note, they're perfect. Uh, we got to hear class, you know, we got to hear We Are, and of course, Stand Out Fitted and Wasted Nights. The new song, So Delusional, Make It Out Alive. And we did hear a new song we think is called We All Matter, but we're not positive. So the unreleased song, we got to see their new little animations, short films in between. That was so cute. Wonderful concert. Uh, energy was great. Oh, we got to hear Mighty Long Fall. So that was a new one for me. I never heard Mighty Long Fall in person. And of course, they did the beginning. So chock full of good songs singing along you're gonna hear my voice a lot because well you probably already did i'm gonna put this probably towards the end but yeah you can't really hold back with one okay rock the saddest part of course is when the concert ends i definitely was feeling emotional singing at the final moments leaving wanting to cry my eyes out i just wanted to go back and sing with taco some more i love this band so much uh, they did give us VIP signed posters, so I have a frame on the way from Amazon for this. Um, I'm so happy that there was a frame that would fit it. Uh, my friend Asako-chan, she told me where she got hers, so I found, I found one in the color I liked. And I needed to get two, so I ended up getting one, a different one that had a two-pack, a different brand, but the same website. Um, so that I can hang up another poster I had for a while that I never got up. So another signed poster from a different band. Um, I'm excited to get both of those on my wall. I think this one is so classy and beautiful that you could get away with hanging this in your living room. I'm kind of running out of space, so I'm not sure where I'm putting it. I'm just so excited to get it in the frame and protected and beautiful. Just another cherished 1OK Rock memorabilia for me. I... I absolutely love this band and I cherish every little piece of merch that I have. Uh, I did get um, this long sleeve t-shirt, but I also got two short sleeve t-shirts at the tour. I got the one with the tour dates and then the white one with the skeleton, which is my favorite. Um, wearing my hat from Eye of the Storm is very fuzzy, very old, very well loved. I wear it all the time. so. We got buttons too, little pin buttons, and I love those because I collect those already. I put the ones from other bands. I did not get a bracelet and I regret that so much. They didn't have the red, they had the black. I should have gotten a bracelet. I'm so sad, but it is what it is. I missed out on that. Maybe I'll get one eventually, resale I hope. Um, honestly, so many memories made and I was able to go with my friend Angelina and we have both bonded over 1OK Rock from afar. Uh, we did meet up briefly two other times, but this was finally like a, a nice long trip for us to spend lots of time together and enjoy 1OK Rock together. Being like front row together, I mean, that's a memory that I'll never forget. Uh, so happy to finally have this moment with my little, my online friends, so, so to speak. Now real friends, but yeah, we met on here. She's actually the person who really encouraged me to do YouTube, so I love her so much. <laughs> anyway, this was another great me memory, another great experience. Uh, all thanks to 1OK Rog, they've given me so many wonderful memories, so many friendships. I love them so much. Uh, it's already being said that they're going to be doing an album tour as they release their new album, so I really can't wait for that. I'm excited to see where they're going to stop. I am hoping for Chicago, hoping for VIP. I've never had meet and greet. Uh, this was my first time being barricade for 1OK Rock. I'm dying to be barricade again. I don't think I could go back. I'll go no matter what. There's no way I would miss 1OK Rock, even if I'm in the nosebleeds. But I would love to see them up close again, hopefully at a smaller venue, maybe. If it's a bigger venue, I'll still 
I'll still be trying for that VIP ticket. Anyways, thank you guys for following along the journey. If you haven't already, please like this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out more content. Anyway, here's the rest of the video. Enjoy our Toronto trip. Uh, the parking garage is attached to a beach. Do they ever have like the actual Kenji collaboration in store? Can you I know they have it online. But I don't know if they'll have it in store since it's kind of like But I ordered myself the boy in a crane. Yep. I was just making a video.
t-shirt acquired.